Good morning, T and Andy here, and today we're bringing you another packing video, but this time we'll be packing for a theme park. Now we're heading to Universal Orlando, and the things that we're going to pack with us are going to be a little bit different than we normally do with, you know, our adventure type trips. When you're going to a theme park, there's going to be a few things that you want to keep in mind. You'll obviously want to be comfortable, so you want to bring the right types of clothes, um, ones that are going to be appropriate for the weather, but also have backups in case the weather changes. Now, you'll also want to try and save some money because theme car parks can be quite pricey. So, how do you do that without overpacking and bringing the right things? Well, that's what we're going to walk through today. So, let's jump on in and see what we're bringing with us to Universal Orlando. Alright guys, so your packing basics are still essentially the same. Don't forget your electronics that you want to take with you, pack for the weather, all of that, etc, etc. And pack for the activities. And you want pack to. for the activities. Now Tia, what's the difference between that and parking for, uh, parking, packing for theme parks? So packing for a theme park, there's going to be essentials that you'll want to bring with you that we find are specific to theme parks. And so we're going to go through that today. We've got seven items, seven items that we think are essential to bring with you to a theme park. All right, so item number one, it is a good pair of walking shoes. This is our shoe of choice right now. It is a pair of Vessi shoes. They are waterproof literally everywhere. The only exception is if water gets in from the top, which is why we're actually bringing extra socks as well. They are comfor comfortable to walk in. They fit super feet, the insoles perfectly. They're actually designed for them. So this is our shoe of choice. So really, just choose the running shoe that makes most sense to you and something that you're going to be able to walk in all day and bring that one with you. Item number two! So, we have been told that the weather in Orlando can be a little bit unpredictable. Predictable? <laughs> the weather in Orlando can be a little bit unpredictable. It's a little bit of a tongue twister. It is a little bit of a tongue twister. <laughs> Um, and so, one thing that is recommended to bring with you is a poncho. Now, we don't have an actual poncho, but we have raincoats and they pack really nicely, really compact into a suitcase. And so we bring ponchos or raincoats with us when we go to theme parks. That brings us to item number three. Theme parks are kind of like a trap. They got you in an area, so they really upsell you on the food. This is why we never go to a theme park without a good amount of snacks. So in here, yeah, we got some goldfish. We got some Welches. We got some Triscuits. We got some Ritz crackers and Fiber One bars and granola bars and of course I cannot ever go without my typical bag of nuts. They are basically all high calorie foods, delicious snacks that we like to eat just so that we can go from right to right to right to right to right to right. She's not going to stop me. <laughs> to right to right to right to right. To right. <laughs> Now, we will say that Universal Orlando in particular does actually allow you to bring snacks in. They basically just don't allow like a whole picnic worth of food and they don't allow any hot type food. So things you would need to technically microwave or heat up. But snacks like this are totally allowed. And one thing that we are going to do is these come in a whole bunch of big boxes that are not going to pack well into our suitcases. And this is actually a lot of food. So we're going to condense it down into Ziploc bags. Bonus tip, bring a bunch of Ziploc bags or um, Tupperwares. Tupperwares. They are nice containers to make sure that your food does not mix with your gear. Okay, the fourth item on our list, we're doing a special call, call out to Band-Aids. Band-Aids are great when you're walking around. Now, our Vessi footwear, We've worn this everywhere and they have not been giving us any blisters, but 
We have been in scenarios though. Do you remember Paris? Oh my goodness. My ankles were just bleeding everywhere. I think we spent like 10 euros or something on that pack of band-aids. Never again. We always bring band-aids nowadays. It is an essential part of our walking, trekking, anything gear. And theme parks is definitely somewhere you're going to be walking a lot, so. Band-aids. That brings us to item number five. Let's get these out of the way. So item number five is going to be drugs. No, 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 not that type of drugs. We mean things <laughs> like gravel and Advil. So gravel and Advil are going to be the two that we bring with us. And the reason for this is you're going to be going on rides all day. And rides can either make you sick or because of the adrenaline rushes, you might get headaches. Mm -hmm. So we like to be prepared. We don't want a headache or an upset stomach to basically put a damper on our day. So we come prepared with both of those items so that we can take one and continue on with the fun on the rise, rise, the rise, rise. <laughs> All right, item number six is one of our favorite pieces of gear. We have way too many of it and it is Water bottles! Alright, so we're gonna bring our nice Nyad water bottle, thank you very much, to Orlando. And this is going to be how we drink water, how we drink juice, butter beer, whatever beverage it is, we need to stay hydrated. Orlando can get very hot and it could be sunny and humid. All things that you will need water for to combat that dehydration. So we're very excited to try these guys out and we think that it will be terrific as our daily water bottle. All right, our very last item on this list is going to be a very important one if you want to keep your electronics charged. We never go anywhere anymore without our trusty, trusty power bank. Now, we use RAV Power. We absolutely love this power bank. It's about this size. It does have a little bit of weight to it, but this keeps our electronics charged all day. And when I say electronics, I mean our phones, our camera batteries, our gimbal, our, well, we're not bringing the drone, but our drone could be charged, our computers could be charged. This thing holds a lot of power. So um, it's, it's a good idea to bring one with you, especially if you're planning to take a lot of pictures, a lot of videos. It will stop you from having to leave the park to go charge your stuff up. Well guys, that wraps up our top seven essentials when traveling to a theme park. Do not forget to pack these items. And if you have any other items that you think we missed that are really important, link them in the comments below. All right, we gotta get all of this stuff into our suitcases, but we are gonna be in touch. We will be doing some lives while we're in Orlando, so definitely look out for uh, our videos coming up.